How to create a one-line diagram circuit breaker symbol in Revit. Go over to Families and hit New to start a new family. We want an annotation style template, so click Annotation. Go down to Generic Annotation right there. Click Open. Notice that this intersection of these two reference planes will be the insertion point for your family. Now we want to create some reference lines to dimension our symbol. Go to Create, find Reference Line, Put one horizontally right here and another one horizontally down here. Now we can add dimensions for these. Use the dimension tool up top, align dimension. Go from this line down to the first reference line and click anywhere. Do the same thing for the next one from this line to this line. Click anywhere. Now if we click on this line, we can add a dimension to make this a quarter inch dimension. And then this one we want to be about a three quarter inch dimension. Now we want to go ahead and draw a line for the top of the breaker. Go up to create, click on line. Start from here and it will snap down to the next one. Now we would like to have a circle in this location. So we go back up to create, line, and then we need to find the circle tool over to the right under the draw tools. I will zoom in here and create a circle right here. It won't start drawing a circle until it gets about there, and that's good. Now let's go ahead and copy that circle by using the copy command. Pick the center, and let's go ahead and copy it down to this location here. And we can take this line and back it off of the circle. Now we want to draw an arc to represent the circuit breaker symbol. So go back to create line. This time, choose the arc start and radius. We will start about here and end about here. And then we can select what kind of a radius we want to make our circuit breaker symbol. That looks good. Now we want to add some labels. So let's go to create and click on label. Then we need to create a new parameter for our label. So click on new parameter here. And we want it to be named amps. And the data type will just be text. And then it will land under the group named text. Let's make it an instance parameter. Let's create another parameter named poles. Also text and instance. And then some people like to add the frame size for their breaker, so we can put frame. We want it to be text and an instance. Now we can start adding these parameters to our label. First one we want, amps, move it into the label parameter and say OK for the first one. We can also shrink this down and move it over. Then we can just hit copy right here and copy it from here to here. In this one, we can go in and edit that label. We can click on amps and get rid of amps and go ahead and add poles to this one. Say OK. And then copy one more time, and we can add the frame. Click on this, edit it, get rid of poles, move in the frame. OK. Now we have a circuit breaker symbol with amps, poles, and frame. Now let's save this as a file and then load it into our project.